Hi everybody, this is Luke, and this one you're seeing is my old frame, on which I'm going to install a Tongsheng TSDZ2 mid-drive kit. If you have followed my latest video, you remember that some months ago I removed this motor, the first one I ever bought, from the second-hand heavy frame on which it was installed. I finally found a solution to send it here, in my own town, and in the next minutes you're going to see the entire installation process on this beloved bike of mine. Ok, enough talking, just sit back, relax and enjoy the final part of the 500W Tongsheng frame replacement. Oops, this bolt is bent, not too bad, I'm going to use a new one. I'll see you again in the last part of this video.
And here it is, the old glory back on its wheels. After the installation, I needed to readjust my rear derailleur and replace the old chain. For such a job, I decided to go to a professional, who saved me time and did it way better than I could possibly do. Now the only thing left for me is to enjoy the new ride. You may realize that for this specific video, I decided to avoid the installation of the throttle. More on that later. And yes, it was exactly how I remembered it. Even though the TSDZ2 is a little bit noisier than the BBS-02B, pedaling with the torque sensing system is way more pleasant. And I know it, because I tried both motors on this same bike. Well, I'm not saying it's always rosy. But comparing it to the regular cycling feeling, this feels way more close to it. You won't feel any abrupt, heavy acceleration, thing that is quite familiar to Befang mid drive owners and this make the driving experience more relaxed and safer on some gravel paths. Weaving through traffic is still effective, but I would say that this is one of the challenges where a BBS 02B performs better. And talking about what I would have preferred the Bafang one, here comes a steep climb. Crossing this bridge was not impossible, but I had to perform as hard as my motor to maintain a decent speed. But that's normal with torque sensing motors. It will simply assist you, it won't replace you. You might overcome this issue using a throttle, but I haven't personally tested yet, and, as I remember, the TSDZ2 throttle implementation was not as good as the one on the BBS-02B. Where this mid-drive kit will bring its absolute best is on irregular gravel paths. Going down this country road was a completely new experience. I loved it. You feel like having full control over the bike and its drive. This should also result in less stress on the chain and more energy saved on your battery. I already made a few videos where I talk about energy consumption on both motors. If you're interested, go check them out. And in case you want to see a new range test on both motors using the same battery, well, let me know in the comment section, because now that's totally possible. This tungsten motor is also safer on bicycle lanes. The reason is very simple. No human being goes always at the same speed all the time. With a torque sensing motor, you can adjust your speed without having to mess with the assistance levels. Finally, a few mentions about the building process. This build shares the same battery plug as the previous one, and the cable management is the same as the last two builds. The main cable is rooted behind the mid-drive motor. It proceeds up through the vertical bar and then to the upper horizontal one to reach the handlebar. Since this is the only cable on the TSDZ2, there is no backlight on this bike but the headlight with the horn is present. Check out the upper link if you want to know more. We got front suspensions and V-brakes, which I believe is more than enough considering that this build is now slower compared to the same bike with the BBS-02B. The foldable pedals are very handy and make me love this build even more because they allow me to go wherever I want with my new old e-bike. As it usually happens in this place, I also had some days with a very strong wind, around 35 km per hour. During those days, exactly like on steep climbs, pedaling on this build was particularly hard. 
Of course, the reason is related to the torque sensing system. So, there you have it. Pros and cons of the Tongsheng TSDZ2 from a daily driver of a Bafang BBS02B. I know some of you will not agree with my thoughts, but I just try to be as honest as possible. In the end, I love both motors and I'm so happy that when I'm here, based on what I want to do, I can choose the right bike for any different situation. Because there's no such thing as a perfect mid-drive kit. As I already said in the past, each kit is better than the other for some reasons. And that's it from my side. What about you guys? What are you driving? Did you choose the right kit for your goals? In the meantime, I hope you liked this video. If this is the case, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future story. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.